all right, your project plan looks solid. Everything's linked up, the dates make sense and you're feeling really good about it. But then Microsoft Project hits you with the little red man. It's telling you that your resources are overbooked, but you know that they're not. So let's take a look at a real world example. You've got Sarah working on a long task like training. That runs from Monday to Friday, but then on Wednesday, she's got a couple of smaller things, a review session and a client call. And that's real life, right? But MS Project doesn't get it. It thinks Sarah's doing 100% of her time on every task, and that's where it all breaks down. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix it without that little red man ruining your schedule. Okay, let's walk through this together. Sarah is working on training from Monday to Friday. That's eight hours per day but on Wednesday, she's got a few of her tasks taking place. And the second I add those tasks in, boom, over allocated. And a little red warning shows up like a flashing siren. And MS Project starts freaking out along with anyone else who comes and has a look at your work. But we know better and we can fix this, no problem. Option one, manually edit work in resource usage. Sometimes the fastest way to solve over allocations is to dive in and adjust directly. This approach is my favorite way to deal with a problem. Switch to resource usage view. You'll see each task broken down by resource and by day. So let's have a look at Sarah's schedule. She's got eight hours booked for training from Monday to Friday, but on Wednesday, she's got those additional tasks and that brings her to a total of 24 hours. That's where MS Project starts to panic and we can see the red font here too. To fix this, we change the hours on Wednesday and reduce training task maybe to four hours for the day and the other tasks for two hours. That's given her the room for the smaller tasks and the over allocation warning is gone. Simple, precise, and it actually reflects how people work in the real world. Hey, if you're thinking, wow, that's just what I was looking for, hit the like button so more people get to see the video. Option two, adjust units. So that was my preferred approach, but I have two other approaches that I use that I'm less of a fan of, but they may work for you. This one involves changing the commitment to a task without going into the resource usage view. What we're gonna do is change Sarah's commitment on the training task from 100% down to 60%. That gives her 40% for all the other work she has to do that day. So how are we gonna do that? Well, first we make sure that task mode is set to manual scheduling or this is gonna stretch your tasks into the wrong dates. Double click the task, go to the resource tab, change the assignment units to 60%. Now repeat for the other two tasks and set them to 20% each. Now here's the catch. This will apply to every single day of the task, not just Wednesday. So use this option only if the resource is meant to be part-time on the task all week. It's a quick fix, but it's not always the right one if you need more precise control. Option three, splitting the task. Here's another approach, splitting the long task. This one tends to irk me, as you're about to see, but it has its uses. What if we decided that Sarah isn't working on the main task on Wednesday, and he's taking a break for a while to focus on other things or even taking a day off? You don't want to have to create a task for the first half of the week and another for the second half. But at the same time, you don't want to have one long task that shows it's being worked on all through the week. So what we do is split the task. Click on the training task and on the task tab, hit split task. Click the bar in the Gantt chart and it creates a split. You may want to zoom in on this part because it gets very annoying trying to drag this into place. We're free to Wednesday, but we can see part of the task has moved into Monday. So we need to adjust for that. That involves dragging these bars around a little bit. And I'll be honest with you, I don't have the patience for it. <laughs> so I just need to reduce the amount of time spent on the two smaller tasks. And there you have it. It's a clean visual way to create space in a packed schedule. Now Sarah's got the time she needs for the smaller tasks and the red man is gone. If you want to spot trouble before it starts, check out the resource graph. It shows each person's workload day by day. And when they're over capacity, it turns red. And you can take a look at the team planner. It's a Gantt chart for people and you can see where tasks overlap and you can drag them around to resolve conflicts. Both are great tools to help you to manage the plan. So here's the deal. Project isn't wrong, it's just rigid. It assumes people work at 100% on every task until they're done. But real people in the real world, they multitask, they flex, they juggle. So now you know how to reflect that in your plan without the red warning icon ruining everything. You may decide it's more trouble than it's worth. That's fine. 
to your plan. If you found this helpful, hit the thumbs up and check out my other Microsoft project videos. I've got one about how to use project to its full potential to get really precise scheduling that I think you're going to enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.